Good morning everybody and welcome back to a lovely Thursday and today what we are doing is a fantastic weighted 20 minute workout senior programme and you are going to love it. It's going to make your whole body work. You're going to be working with your legs, your core, your arms and your back so it's absolutely a fantastic total body workout for today. So do make sure that you are well enough to join me with exercise today. Do check with your GP and make sure you haven't got any coughs, colds or fevers, that's really important. During the exercise regime, if you feel something's not working out well for your body, do you know what, don't worry, just stop, have a breather and when you feel ready you can come back and join me again. So do a good warm up before you get going, you might want to join me a little bit later after walking around the house for a good 5 minutes or follow me with one of my warm ups which I'll link below. So what you need today, if you haven't got dumbbells, don't worry because you can just find two tin cans in your cupboards. If you have got dumbbells, brilliant. If you've got an array, fantastic. You'll notice that some of the exercises you'll need lighter weights and some of them you'll be okay with a little bit heavier. And if you feel that the weight is too heavy for you during that particular exercise and you haven't got a lighter weight, just put the weight down. Be sensible, be true to your body, and I'm sure you'll have a fantastic workout with me today. So we're going to start with a little bit of mobilisation. So holding on to your sturdy sideboard, or kitchen sideboard is the best place, we're going to go for a heel pump. So just alternating your heels, starting to get the blood flowing around the body. Now whilst we're in this position, let's do a bit of a posture check. Shoulders nice and low. Draw your tummy muscles in and just slightly tilt the pelvis under, so bottom's coming under a little bit there, you're really engaging these core and back muscles all the way around the midriff. Super, and keep your chin parallel to the floor, so nice and high, getting all that good oxygen within to your body. Drop the shoulders, fantastic, and let the arms lightly swing to the sides, good. Now we're just going to go for a mobilisation through the elbow joints, so we're going to go for an alternating bicep curl. Good, and if you do feel a bit unsteady with this, hold on to the side there, and then you can swap it onto the other arm when you feel ready. Good, nice and easy. Super. Now we're going to stop the feet in just a wide stance, and we're going to do a small knee bend, so you're pushing your weight back. Good, I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me. Just warming up through the knees. Good. Last two, and one, brilliant, well done. And shoulder roll all the way up, round and back. Good, let's do that with the left shoulder, starting with that one. Good, and again, now let's go with the right, all the way up, round and back, big circle, fantastic. Now let's take them forward, so shoulder roll, forward with that left shoulder, good, big circle, drawing up, round and down, other side, up, round and down, good, and again, last one, brilliant, now with your left arm, reach all the way up to the ceiling and see if you can circle that arm all the way around the joint, if you have any joint problems, just take it to where it feels comfortable for you, you might want to use your elbow instead, good, one more time, lift up and round, onto the other side, Good, reach all the way to the ceiling, down and round. Good, keep your core in nice and strong as you're doing this. So you're keeping your balance, soft knees. That's it, and again, if you want to use your elbow, use your elbow instead, brilliant. Now soften your knees just here, and we're going to go for a side bend, side twist. So we're just gonna take gently look over to our left side, take it back to the center, and look over to the right. Good. Now if you want to hold on to the sideboard, that's great. I'm going to show you that option here. So you're facing your sideboard and you're just alternating the hand as you're twisting to the side. Good. We're going to do one more and back to the centre. Now we're going to take it down into a lateral bend. So you're letting your left hand come down to the side of the body and coming back up again into a right. Good. And see if we can draw up the other elbow. Good. So taking it down, reach and up. Just loosening off through the muscles and the spine so you're ready to work out. Hold it here and again holding onto the side if you need to. 
in for a hip circles. So you're taking your hip circles all the way from the left, forward, right and back. So it's a nice big circle all the way round. Good. One more time and rest. Now take it round the other side. So you're going to go for right, forward, left and back. Good. Nice big circle sweeping all the way round. Try and keep the upper body still and just let the hips rotate round. Good, you can bring your feet in a little bit more narrow if you wish, soft knees as you're doing that. Great, well done. And breathe it. Good, now we're just going to bring the legs up into a little bit of a march and the march height can be depending on you. So you might just want to take an inch off the floor. If you've done a warm up already, you might be willing to bring your legs up a little bit higher. So we're going to go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Last bit of mobilisation before we get going with our main activity. We're going to take up our left leg and we're going to hinge it all the way open like we're stepping over a gate and lifting and closing. Good. Now you really need good core with this one to keep you up nice and tall. So you can hold on if you wish. Or if you feel like you want to challenge yourself, hands out to the side for a little bit of balance there, good. One more lift and over and just take the leg up to a, where you feel comfortable and breathe it. So we're going to try that onto the other side and again, so lifting up the right leg, taking it to where you feel comfortable, out to the side and bringing it back in. Now this is a great hip mobilising activity to do. It's really important that we get this synovial fluid starting to work all the way through the joints in our body because that will help our exercise grow and become more efficient with all of our actions. Great stuff, well done. Grab yourself some weights and let's get going. We're gonna start our 20 minute workout. Three, two, one, off we go. So I'm choosing these weights for me today. So level one, you're going to turn to face the sideboard and you're gonna have soft knees you're going to place the weight into your left hand and just a soft small knee bend and raising up. So that's level one. Once you've done five repetitions, you're going to swap onto the other side. Good. Level two, you're going to go for two weights together and coming down and then raising up. Level three, you're going to take it a little bit deeper. So it's a bigger squat, pushing down, coming all the way up. So we're going to do 10 repetitions. So remember, level one, you're holding on to the side. So I'm going to go for level one first of all. Ready? We're going to start with one, and up, and two, pushing the weight up through the heels as you stand. Three, strong core, and four, steady breath, and five, good. Swap the weight onto the other hand, if you're level one. Good. Next lot of five. Here we go. And one. And up. Shoulders nice and low. Two. And up. You'll notice today we're doing something a little bit different. We're not working with the time. We're working with the number of repetitions. Good. We've got one more to go. Here we go. And standing up, fantastic. Pop your weights down and just give your legs a little bit of a breather. So back in for a hill pump. Right, we're going to repeat that again. So again, level one, you're holding on with one weight, doing five reps and then swapping to the other side. Level two, it's just a small squat. Level three, deeper. Here we go. I'm going to go for level three this time. And one. And up, hold your core and steady. Two. Good. And three. Push the weight through the heels as you come up to a stand. Four. I'm going to slightly turn to the side so you can see me better. Good. Steady breath. Really get that bottom back. Four. Here we go, let's go for one more. After this one, let's take it down again, let's take it down again. Good, and breather, fantastic. So now we're gonna head into a lunge. 
Level one, you're going to hold on to the side. You're going to take your left leg back and you're going to lift up the back heel. Your front knee will bend and the back knee will do a small little bend and raise up. So the back knee is doing the work. You're going to hold on to a weight within that left hand, bending down and then coming back up. Good, five repetitions on this side. Then you're going to swap to five repetitions onto the other side. Level two, we're going to go just with the left leg and you're going to go for two weights, but you've got the sideboard there if you need it. And it's a small bend again and then coming back up. Level three, you're going to go for a deeper lunge and you're going to take it to about an inch off the floor and then power back up. Okay. So, are we ready? I'm going to go for level one first of all. Five repetitions. Here we go. And one. Good. Two. And three. And four. Keeping a right angle at those joints. That's it. Good. And breather for level one. I just think I've done six reps rather than five. Here we go on the other side. And one. And two. And three. Four. Shoulders nice and low. Five. We'll take one more on this side because we did six on the other. Good. And breather and just loosen off there. Fantastic. Well done, folks. So our next exercise is called a curtsy lunge. So again, level one. You can hold on to the sideboard and you're going to step and place your right leg behind a small curtsy lunge and then step the foot together. Now we're not going to use any weight for level one. Level two, you're going to use weight and you're going to keep holding on to the side. Good. Level three, you're going to be using both your weights and you're just going to be placing them to the hands and then bring it back to centre. I'm going to start with level three this time. Ready? Here we go. And one. And then centre. Good. Take the leg behind, bending the knee. And centre. Two. Steady breath. Three. Remember to hold on to the side if you need to. Four. And five. Well done. Let's swap it onto the other leg. Here we go. So we're going to take the left leg, place it behind and bend. One, centre. Good. Two, and centre. Core in strong. Three, and centre. Four, nearly there guys. And five, and centre. Brilliant. Nice easy heel pump. Super stuff, doing really well. Good, so our next exercise is a pec squeeze. Now level one, holding on to the sideboard here. I'd like you to do two things at once. Either wiggle your toes in your shoes or pump your heels so you're continually getting the blood flow travelling up to the level of the heart. Now you're going to hold on to one weight and at a right angle, you're going to squeeze in for a half pec squeeze. So you're going to do five repetitions on this hand and then you're going to swap it to the other side for five repetitions here. Level two, you're going to take it out to a right angle degree and you're going to squeeze your elbows close in together and then open out again. Level three, you're going to come in, one slightly open for a pulse, squeeze and then open. Brilliant. Okay, are we happy with our levels? I'm going to go for level two. Three, two, one, here we go. And one. And lift. Keep the elbows nice and high. Steady breath. Two. And lift. Good stuff. And three. And open. Four. And open. Steady breath. Five and open, keep going. So six, core in strong, open. Seven, good, nice flat back. 
eight. Chin parallel to the floor, you've got this. Nine. One more. And ten. Fantastic. Open and then place the weights down. So the next one is a bent over row. We have done this a few times. So it's a soft knee, flat back. You're going to pivot forward from the waist. So my back is dead straight there if you can get it into its natural curve but straight holding into your core. Choose your weights. And we're going to hold on to the weights. Roll the shoulder back. We're going to squeeze the weight in, squeezing between our shoulder blades and then back down again. Five repetitions on this side for level one. Swap it round, five repetitions on the other side. Good. Level two, you're going to be going for five repetitions on one side, but holding your body weight so you're activating your core even more. Level three, you're going to go for both hands together. I'm going to start with level two. Three, two, one, here we go. So one, steady breath, two, and lower. So remember level one, all you're doing is holding onto the sideboard. It's the same as what I'm doing here now, but you're just holding onto the sideboard. Good, steady breath, and change the arm if you're level one or two. Here we go. One, and down. Keep that back nice and strong. Two, and lower. Great stuff. And three, doing really well there, guys. You can do this. Four, steady breath. And five, breathe us, slowly come back up. A little bit of a hip wiggle. Yes, fantastic. Now we're gonna go back into that same position again. So if it helps, put your weights down. Feet flat into the floor, soften the knees, pivot forward from the waist. Good, and you're gonna bring your weight close up into the body where your elbow is pointing to the ceiling. You're gonna extend that weight behind you into a tricep kickback. Good, so level one, you're holding on to the side, and all that's moving is my forearm. Level two, you've got both your weights, so you're really holding on nice and strong and activating, you're doing double whammy, your triceps and your back muscles. Level three, you're going to push both the weights out for 10 repetitions at the same time. Good, are we ready? I'm gonna go for level two, three, two, one, here we go, and one, and in, good, keep those elbows nice and high, good, and three, core in strong, and four, extending back, steady breath, and five, really wiggle those toes in your shoes, well done, other side, one, in, good, and if you're level three, Keep both those weights going at the same time. Super. Three. Strong high elbows. Four. Doing well. And five. Brilliant stuff. And then slowly come back up. Put the weights down. Just give yourself a little bit of a wiggle off again. Brilliant. So in this time we're into a bicep curl and a front raise. Now level one, we're going to be, again, holding on to the side, shoulders nice and low, and it's a bicep curl with your left arm starting off. Then you're going to raise your arm in front, just to wherever you can manage. It might just be to here. Absolutely great. Do what your body will allow you to do, and over time, you might be able to get it a little bit higher. Super. Level two, you're going to hold on to both the weights, roll the shoulders back and down, but you're just going to be activating the bicep curl first and then a front raise, good. And then you're gonna swap it straight on to the other side. So you're gonna be doing a bicep curl, then a front raise. Now you know what's coming for level three. That's right, double arms together. So we're gonna be going for a bicep curl together and then you're gonna be turning into a front raise and lower. Okay, so I'm gonna go for level three this time. Off we go, three, two, one, and bicep curl, elbows close into the body. Then you're gonna turn your palms to face down, raise up the arms in front of you, and then slowly lower, breathing all the way through. Turn the palms, bicep curling, 
Now turn the palms to face away and then reach up. Good, that's two. Shoulders nice and low. Turn the palms. Bicep curl, you're doing well guys. Turn the palms again. Reach up and lower. That's four. Good, turn. That's it, you've got this, you can do it. Turn the palms, reach up, and that's five. Well done. And again, turn. Remember, if you're on level one, you need to swap that arm round. Good. And if you're level two, you're alternating. Fantastic. Let that six reps and bicep curl nice and steady. If you do all of these exercises steady and controlled, you're really activating your muscles and they will grow in strength. If you do everything very fast, you're working quite explosive, and yes, it will help your endurance and your strength, but it won't be a long-term thing. It's more of a quick, quick fix and aerobic, so we want more aerobic work going on here in the body today. Fantastic, good. Three more reps to go. Bicep curl in, and lower. Now turn those palms, and then straighten the arms up to wherever you can manage. Hold that core in, good, two more left. Bicep curl, turn the palms, doing well guys. All the way up, and lower, last one. Okay, bicep curl, here we go. That's the way, turn the palms, facing away and down. Lift up, and lower, and breathe, fantastic. Pop the weights down onto the side. Now this next exercise you're going to absolutely love. It's a donkey kick coming into some ab workouts. So I'll show you level one to start with. So level one, you're holding onto your weight into your left hand and bringing up your left leg. You're going to kick your leg out and away. So we're working your glutes. As you're kicking that leg, you're going to extend up with the weight just the way you can manage. It might just be here, that's great. Then you're going to pull that knee in and bring the knee and the weight towards your chest and arch the back out. So it looks a bit like this, reaching for level one and in. Now level two, you're going to extend it a bit further, you're going to reach, 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 reach and then come in all the way through. Really reach and then in, arching up. Now, if you feel super confident and you want to take it to the next level, you're going to hold on to the other weight here. Do make sure you are safe and you'll be insensible with this. The weight stays low into the hand. You extend out the leg, extend out the arm, and then in for a donkey kick, and then back. Good. So you're holding your own balance, and you're really working all those mechanisms in the body. So I'm going to go for level two. Okay, are we ready? five repetitions on this side and then we swap for five repetitions on the other side. Three, two, one, here we go. So donkey kick out, reaching up and then arching the back, pulling in, steady breath, reaching up. Remember if you're level one, just take your movements to where your body allows you to go. Maybe you just want to drop the arm, just work on the leg. That's absolutely fine. Steady breath. You don't have to be using weights through these workouts today. Good. Keep extending back. Four. And five. Way. Super stuff. Right, let's change it on to the other side. Relax the shoulders. Holding onto the sideboard if you need to. All the weight in the hand. Here we go. I'm reaching up. This is level three. Coming in. Reaching up and in. So level two is just where you've got your hand onto the sideboard or holding onto the weight. For level one, keep it nice and low. Last one, in. Let's do one more for luck. Steady breath and then lower. Fantastic, well done guys. Okay, so we're into a lateral bend here. So your feet need to be a bit wider than the hip width to shoulder width apart, really more, more on the shoulder width apart side. You're going to be doing a lateral bend, so level one, holding onto the side, shoulders low, hips facing square and forward, and you're going to slightly bring that weight down to the side, 
and then back up. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Base on, here we go. So coming down to the side and then up. Level two, we're going to hold on to two weights and just take it nice and steady here. Level three, now what you're doing here is you're, as you're coming down, you're going to extend into a lateral raise, raising up your right hand so it's in a straight line and then as you come down, slowly lower. So it's doing a bit of a quarter of a moon shape here. Okay, so ready? Three, two, one, five repetitions. I'm going to go level two, one, and steady coming up. Good. Hold that core in, keep the shoulders relaxed and down. As you come up, squeeze, 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 and activate between these obliques on the side of the body here. Really get this side muscle working. Bring up. Try and make the muscles bring you up rather than just lifting up through the other sets of muscles there. Coring, 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 good stuff. Let's go down to the other side. So remember if you're level three, this arm comes out and then back up again. Good. Taking it down for repetition two. Steady breath. And then up. So we're showing you level three at the moment. Good, steady breath. But do keep to level two or one. And we've got two more repetitions. Here we go. Yes. It's going to be a good day today. Think of all the great stuff you're doing for your body. You're working out. You're burning calories. Improving the strength of your body and the balance. Let's do one for luck. Good. And breathe it and up. And then roll the shoulders back and down. Fantastic. Super stuff. So this one you're going to place your hands just onto the sideboard and then get nice and comfortable. Raise the hands up to your ear height. We're not going to use any weights for this one. Core in nice and strong. If you watch me, I'm just coming in to a flat back and then slowly raising back up again. Good. Brilliant. Oh, we've made it. Let's do 10 repetitions before we finish. Okay, so here we go. Hello, good mornings. Flat back, these are great for working the back muscles. One, so my forehead is coming towards my side, side board there. Keeping my knees soft, but there's no real movement from my lower body. I'm pivoting from the hips, keeping that back nice and flat. Now, if you get to the level where you're thinking, oh no, I want to add weights with these, absolutely fine. All you do is you hold on to the weights into either hand and you carry on that way. But do make sure you're at that level where you can do that. Good, nice and steady. Now, working with weights, we've got to be respectful for our body. And our body will thank you much better for that. So if you try and jump the gun before you're ready, you will feel quite fatigued and you can have other effects going on with the blood pressure. So it's important to listen to your body. Good. Let's go for two more because I was busy chatting. It's not right me to chat away. <laughs> okay, we've got one more to go. Down. And up. Fantastic. Put the weights down. Oh my goodness. Give yourself a round of applause, guys. You have made it through 20 minutes of a really good muscular strength endurance session with your weights. So we're going to stretch you out now. So let's start with the upper body. Again, holding onto the side if you need to. You're going to round and arch through the back. So it's a bit like you're doing a cat stretch but standing up. So ready? So we're going to pull in through our tummy muscles and arch all the way through the spine. Good, now if you're happy and you don't need to hold on to the side, try going for a bit of a deep sea diver and then arch right over. Good. And then as you come up, you're going to open, 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 and then I'd like you to stretch. Imagine you're peeling your hands right back and your nails are on the back of a wall, so they're running down the back of the wall. That's what we're going to imagine. And we're going to come up and deep sea dive over again. Tuck the chin in, open out through the back. Good, and then slowly come up and let the hands travel, travel back. Good, down the back of the wall, opening out through our chest. One more time, coming forward and arching. Steady breath. 
and then open all the way out and back and breathe. Well done. So we're going to take a big stride back with the left leg and place the back heel flat into the floor. Bend your front knee and just hold that stretch there. Fantastic. Now while we're in that stretch, we are going to do double whammy. We're going to stretch out the left tricep. So you're going to reach up to the ceiling, bend the elbow and then with your opposite hand slightly push the elbow back so you can feel the stretch onto the back of the arm. If that feels a bit wobbly for you, just hold on to the side. Good. So you're stretching your calf and your tricep. Now we're going to bring both the arm and the leg in. Reach and then down. Let's take it onto the other side. Big stretch back. Good. And again, reach up with the right arm, bend that elbow, take it to where it feels comfortable for you. And with the opposite hand, gently guide that elbow up. Again, hold on to the side if you need to, that's fine. You might only be able to bring your elbow here, that's absolutely fine. Over time, we'll see if we can eke that up a little bit more for you. And reach up, and then bring in, fantastic. So let's go for a side bend, we're gonna reach down to the side, good, and again, keep holding on to the sideboard if you need to. Otherwise, stretch right over, we're gonna lengthen all the way through the side of the body here. So that will really help when we were doing our lateral exercises with the weights and crunching and then slowly scoop all the way down over to the other side so again hold on to the side if you need to reach over feel that lovely stretch elongating down these muscles here good and then back up lovely and we're just going to go for a bit of a shake out and give yourself a round of applause, guys. You have done absolutely amazing. I hope you enjoyed that today. If you did, do hit the like button and the subscribe and share with your friends because that helps me make more videos for you guys at home. If there's a particular exercise routine that you would like to have a go at and you would like me to produce one for you, again, do write that in the comments below because I'm sure we can get something sorted and do one especially for you guys at home. So before we go, I'm going to do some shout outs who's with me today. And today we have got, do do do, she says as we're opening up, we have got Sue, oh great work Sue, good morning. And we've got Eileen, fantastic. Good morning guys, we've got Anne and Ray, we've got Heather from Austria, and we have got, I know we've got Becca, and we've got Pops as well. So well done, you guys. I shall see you soon. And until next Thursday, take care, be safe. Much love to you all. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.